Good day, Divinians! Welcome to the online webinar of Divina Pastora College. And today, we're gonna talk about Divinians embracing the virtue of generosity. Before we start, please like the Facebook page of Divina Pastora College and please subscribe to the YouTube channel of DPC para lagi kayong updated sa ating mga announcement at activities. Now, before we start, let us all feel the presence of Jesus Christ and let us pray. Hail Mary, Sovereign Mother of the Good Shepherd, who became man. You watch over the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is both God and man, Son of the Eternal Father. Hail Mary, you gave birth to Christ, while remaining a virgin, even purer and mystical Mother of the Good Shepherd. Pray for us, O Holy Mother, Mother of the Good Shepherd, and of the same incarnate Word, that through your intercession, we may be made worthy to receive what we ask for in faith. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you very much. So, uh, kamusta po ang lahat? Uh, nawa po ay nasa maayos at mabuting lugar po ang bawat isa at syempre safe from COVID-19. So, simulan po natin ito sa ating community outreach. So, ano po ba ang goal ng community outreach natin for this year? Of course, it's to instill deeper the sense of service in the student, faculty, staff, and parents, to become aware of the prevalent problems in the adopted community, to become directly and intensively involved in outreach activity, thus realize community involvement as a responsibility, and of course, to increase the partnership and collaboration outside the school. So, community outreach po, dito po natin ini-involve at nagpa-participate yung ating mga student at sila po ay nagiging volunteer natin kung saan nagpa-facilitate at nagmamanage po sila ng outreach activity. So, sa community outreach po, it's all about giving, contributing, and helping those who cannot help themselves. Community outreach also allows us to influence younger generation to give back to the community. It helps the community grow in a substantial way. Not, it, not only does it make it feel good, but it brings the community together as a whole. So, ang mga student po natin before, nagpupunta po tayo sa bahay ni San Jose Orphanage, sa GK Puting Tubig, at sa Lupang Pangarap, kung saan nag-outreach activity po tayo. nag extend po tayo ng tulong sa ating mga adopted communities. Now, uh, in, the, in the side of the student, volunteering has proven to help boost the self-confidence of individuals getting them out of their comfort zone dealing with real world problems it also brings certain perspective into view that you may not have been aware until you see what others need what others in need so nagpo-volunteer po dito yung ating mga students kung saan nagmamanage at nagpapasilitate po sila ng mga outreach activity at sila po ang mga pangunahing tumutulong sa mga outreach activities kung saan nagdo-donate po sila ng mga school supply, ng mga goods and or essential goods. And for our community, so outreach could relieve a person from a lot of stress. Giving back to the community can help you feel more at peace with the with the part knowing that you've done your part additionally the law of karma tells us that if you give you shall receive very familiar with that line that if you that if you will give you shall receive 
So many people refuse to give back because of financial reason. However, giving back in the smallest way can possibly change your life and relieve all your financial financial issues. So very uh, possible na mangyari yan. So, ano nga ba ang mangyayari sa atin kapag tayo ay generous na nagbibigay sa ating kapwa? So, let's hear some of the answer from the, uh, our for some of our friends regarding to that question na ano nga ba ang mangyayari sa atin kapag tayo ay nagbibigay ng taus puso sa ating kapwa? What happens when we're generous? We lessen suffering of others because Jesus says that whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do unto me. So, let's share our blessings to others. Kung tayo po ay magiging mapagbigay sa kapwa, ay mas magiging malapit tayo sa Diyos at magkakaroon tayo ng maraming kaibigan. Maraming salamat po. Pala po natin mga tao ang pagbigay ay yung kasayahan po ng mga tao. Yung napapangiti po natin sila kahit sa simpleng bagay po. So, yun lang po. Thank you po. According to Abraham Maslow, in order for us to achieve our self-actualization or our full potential, we must give in order for us to be fulfilled. Ano mangyayari kapag tayo ay mapagbigay? So una, kapag tayo ay mapagbigay sa ating kapwa, dapat bukal sa ating kalooban at walang hinihintay na kapalit. At sa bawat pagtulong o pagbibigay natin sa kapwa, mas maraming mga biyaya ang ating matatanggap mula sa poong ng kapal. What happens when we're generous? When we're generous, we will feel spiritually happy, which make it generous. We find happiness in Others. Generosity also becomes the fuel for greater contentment. So choose to be generous all the time. Kapag tayo mapagbigay, tayo lubos na yaangat ng Diyos at makatanggap pa ng higit na biyaya. Ang pagbibigay ng walang kapalit ay paulit-ulit tayong isasalba sa pagkirapan. What happens when we're generous? Uh, if we are uh, generous, so marami tayong mga taong matutulungan. At kapag ka tumutulong tayo, ay nakapagbibigay tayo ng uh, kasiyahan sa iba. So ito yung kasiyahan na hindi mapapantayan ng kahit na ano pa mang uh, bagay. So kaya importante na maging uh, generous tayo. Ano po ang mangyayari sa atin kung tayo ay makagbigay? Tayo po ay makakaramdam ng kaluwagan at ligaya sa ating puso. Salamat po! Ano ang mangyayari kapag tayo ay mapagbigay? Tayo po ay magkakaroon ng mas maraming biyaya dahil nakikita ng Panginoon ang kabutihan ng ating loob. Maraming salamat po! Thank you so much to the Divinians and to the student who answered the question, What will happen when we're generous? Now let's go to what the Bible says about generosity. What happened when we're generous? According to Proverbs 11 to 25, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. On Psalm uh, chapter 11, verse 2 to 5, God will come to those who are generous and lend freely who conduct their affairs with justice. You believe in that? <laughs> so 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9 uh, verses 6 to 8 Remember this, whoever shows springly will also reap springly Whoever shows generously will also reap generously Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give Not reluctant or under compulsion, but for God's love, a cheerful giver A God is, a, is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things and in all times Having all that you need, you will abound to in every good work on 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 to 15 says that because of the service by which you have proved yourself you will be you will praise for 
for God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for young for your generosity sharing with them and with everyone else and in their prayers for your their hearts will go out to you because of the surprising grace of God has given you thanks be to God for his indescribable gift so all this will happen to you if you were generous so nakikita ng Diyos kung ano yung ating mga uh, binibigay sa kapwa at ito ay kanyang papalitan ng mas higit pa now um, what should we give generously so why should we give generously so according to Matthew uh, verses 10 to 8 freely you have received freely give according to Hebrew uh, 13 to 16 and do not forget to do good and to share with others for what such sacrifice God has pleased. So, wag po natin kalimutan na gumawa ng mabuti at magbigay ng nasa kalooban natin. Dahil ito po ay syempre nakikita ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So, according to Luke uh, verses 11 to 13, If you then, thought your evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your, will your Father in Heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who asked Him? And according to John chapter 3, verses 16 to 18, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives to our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possession and seek a brothers or sisters in, in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with action and in truth. So, I, I love the last line that let us not love with the words or speech, but with action and in truth. So, totoo naman yun. Hindi kailangan na, na puro salita lang. Kailangan nandun pa rin yung gawa at yung katotohanan. Next, we have Acts uh, verses 20 to 35. In everything I did, I, I show you that this kind of hard work we must help the weak remembering the words of jesus christ himself it's more blessed to give than to receive so very familiar with that line that it is more blessed to give than to receive so ako po ay personally naniniwala dyan na kapag tayo ay nagbigay generously to others uh, mas malaki pa at mas higit pa ang ating makukuhang biyaya so it takes all time at Hindi po naman, uh, ngunit nagbigay ka, meron na agad. So, naniniwala po ako na if you, that if you give, it's uh, madami ka pang mas marireceive. And to the Divinians, I would like to share this uh, from my favorite line from Mother Teresa. says, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. So, ito po yung mga kailangan natin sa mga outreach activity natin. We have to have a great love for one another. Hindi naman kailangan na merong malaking maibigay. Magsisimula lamang ito sa maliit. Doon pa lang na ipapakita na natin kung ano yung pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa, especially sa ating mga adopted communities. So, Divinians, um, embracing the virtue of generosity ay ang ating tatak. So, lahat tayo namumulat sa ating mga adopted communities kung ano nga pa ang mga hinaharap nitong problema at kung paano natin sila matutulungan. So, being generous to our adopted communities, naiaangat tayo ng Diyos at nakikita nito kung ano nga ba ang mga paghihirap natin at ang mga pagtulong natin sa ating mga communities. Siyempre, all this will happen with, if we will have a great love for one another. So, I hope na sana po uh, na isa puso natin at nakita natin kung bakit nga ba natin kailangang tumulong at magtulungan. Now, um, sa ating mga outreach activity po, this will be happened that all activities involved student as participants will be involved on online platforms. Teachers and advisor an, or advisor will create a group chat or virtual online discussion wherein student will create their project activity and proposal for our adopted communities. So as you can see the green arrow po, me as the coordinator to the department heads and dean for the teacher kung saan magka-create po si teacher ng group, uh, group discussion kung saan nakasama po ako at i-discuss ko po kung ano at papaano ang mga gagawin sa mga outreach activities. And then, the, the created uh, project
Public Activity Proposal po needs to be signed and approved of course by the President at kapag po na-approve na ito, lahat po ito ay prepare natin sa opisina ng Community Extension Services. So, nakikita nyo po dyan yung orange arrow with the delivery man, it is optional. Kung meron lamang pong mga kailangang ipadeliver dito sa school, kung sino lang po yung representative na kumukuha ng module at nagsosooli ng module, sila lang po yung magdi-deliver ng mga ipapadala po ng ating mga estudyante. And then kapag natapos na po ito, lahat po ng uh, mga deliverables ay ipapadala na po natin sa ating community kung saan makakatulong po tayo sa kanila. Sa mga outreach activity po natin, ako po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mga estudyante na uh, intensively involved pa rin and willing to participate and of course to volunteer to the outreach activity ng Divina Pastora College. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at nawa po ay may napulot kayong uh, uh, something good or learnings regarding to the generosity kung paano pa nga pa tayo makakapagbigay sa ating mga adopted community. At syempre po, uh, gusto ko lamang pong idagdag na ang pagbibigay po natin sa ating kapwa or sa ating mga community ay hindi po ito sapilitan. Ito po ay voluntarily. Wala pong uh, sapilitan na kinihingi o kinukuha ang Divina Pastora College kundi ang mga kundi ang lahat pong ito ay uh, pawang uh, voluntarily contribution or donation po. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at nawapo maging ligtas uli ang bawat isa. Stay safe, Divinians!